Welcome to Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through example in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be looking at cross-join. Cross-join is one of those methods that you will not use often, and it was even difficult to find a good example to show you today. However, I think I've come up with a really good example to show you today that really shows the power of cross-join. So let's start with a very basic example. Collection equals, let's make a new collection, and we're simply going to pass in one and two, so two integers. So to use cross-join, we do have to call the cross-join method on a collection cannot call this separately and then to that you're going to pass in another array so in my case I'm going to say a and B so we have the string a and the string B so let me run this really quick and now let me explain in the very basics what it actually does so in very simple terms cross join distributes one array onto another array now it is able to do this in multiple arrays and I will show you that in a minute but just to get this very first example in our belts one gets combined with A, and one also gets combined with B. Then two gets combined with A, and two gets combined with B. And so if we look at our results right here, we have that one A, one B, two A, and two B. So that is covering every possible combination of one, two, A, and B. Now where cross join becomes powerful is that we can actually pass in a whole nother array here. So I'm going to pass in another one with C and D. So we have our original collection, which includes the digits 1 and 2. And then we have two additional arrays, one containing A and B, and the other one C and D. So if we run that one more time, now we get eight different combinations. And the combinations, of course, are 1, A, C, as we see here. And then we have 1, A, D, as we see here, 1AD. Then we have 1BC, and we see that here, and then 1BD. And it goes on to do the same for the second digit. So it gives us a total of eight possible combinations. Now at this point, you're thinking, I will never use this. And you're probably right. This is not one of those things that you're going to use very often. However, bear with me one more minute. I want to show you a real world scenario. So let's collect. Let's say that you are working on a website for a car dealership, right? In my case, we are working at the Ford dealership and we're gonna say we have a Mustang, we have a Ford GT, one of my favorite cars, and an F-150. So we have three different models of cars. Now, if I wanted to find how many combinations I could have between different models and different options in that model, this is how you would do it. So let's return collection cross join. So I'm going to pass in the first array. It's going to be automatic and manual. Okay. Let me just run that so you can see what it gets. So we have an automatic Mustang. We have a manual Mustang. We have an automatic GT and a manual GT. And then final F-150 automatic and manual. Okay. Let's add another one. Let's add colors now. Let's say we have blue, black, white, yellow, and gray. Just to name a few colors here. Let's run that one more time. Okay, so now we see we have 30, 29 of course, because there's zero index, but 30 combinations. Let's scroll back up. So we have a blue automatic Mustang, we have a black automatic Mustang, a white automatic Mustang, and so on and so forth until we get into the blue manual Mustang, the black manual Mustang, etc., etc. Finally, and with our F-150 in gray and manual. Furthermore, now let's say that we have model years on top of that. So let's say we have 2018 and 2019 models. Okay, so there we go. Now we have 60 combinations. We have a 2019 great manual F-150, a 2018 gray manual F-150. So this is a case of something that you would use if you were maybe trying to do a drop down menu and you needed some unique IDs or you need to figure out how many combinations that could be. Or if you simply needed a count of the total number of combinations we could have. So we can tag the count method to that and we see that we have 60. Now if we fast forward and we say, well, what about when we add year 2020? 
just as easy, we know we get 90 different combinations. So this is one real world example that you can use to merge different columns from a database or something like that. I hope you find that useful. And if you do, post a comment below so we can see what you did with it.